Photographs have the kind of authority over imagination today which the printed word had yesterday and the spoken word before that. Photographs are often perceived as direct and unmanipulated expressions of reality. But we need to keep in mind that a photograph can only capture one moment in the sequence of time and that it is not just a reflection of reality but also an interpretation of it. Photographers may aspire to present a scene with authenticity, but it is them who subjectively choose the time frame and space of a photograph. Well, by doing that, they may present their own interpretation of reality, focus on specific subject and also cut out others. A picture can also be cropped and retouched afterwards in order to emphasize certain elements while cutting out others. Photographs can serve as documentation, but we need to remember to put them into context in order to understand them properly. If we use photographs in the classroom, we must be aware of a number of issues that may influence the way we look at a photograph or what it is actually telling us. For example, who is the photographer? After all, the photographer is a human being and they may show their own interpretation of the world. On the one hand, we have German official photographers who took pictures in order to show their Jewish victims in a negative light for their anti-Semitic propaganda. And we also have Jewish photographers who took pictures secretly in order to tell the world about the atrocities and also to commemorate the Jewish victims. Another question we have to consider is why was the photograph taken? German photographers often took pictures to show their own racial supremacy or they used the photos as trophies in the acts of humiliating Jewish victims. What is absent from the picture? Another question is, was the photograph staged? In some pictures that we have from the Warsaw Ghetto, German official propaganda photographers created incidents that never actually happened. And another question, where was the photograph found? Many pictures of German photographers were found in private collections or in photo albums as if they were souvenirs. That's indicating to us that they were probably really proud of what they were doing. We mainly remember things visually and that's why photographs are such a great tool in teaching about the Holocaust. But we also need to remember that photographs, like any other historical account, have their limits. And because of that, we need to put them into context and we need to be more critical when analyzing photographs.